this is Angela V and I'm here to give you guys another makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a brown smoky look using a lot of orange and dark brown. So first I'm going to be applying this Pond's Correcting Cream. Use this because it helps a lot with my acne spots. Too Faced Hangover Primer. I have a very heavy hand, so it does look like I'm slapping the shit out of myself sometimes. But I'm a big girl, I can take it. YX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. It's not jumbo anymore. But you know what I'm talking about. I get a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to be going in with this color to set it. You know what? I'm going to use this one. Burnt orange color. I really don't know the color for this. I just know orange and browns. Anyways, we're going to lightly apply it to our lid above the crease line. And remember how I was saying I have a heavy hand? You need to use a very light hand for this. And it's really, really hard for me because I'm just so heavy handed. But I just got to tell myself lightly, lightly, lightly. And go around the circular motions just like this again we'll be going with that color we're gonna do the other side Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the darker orange and this one's gonna be on my crease as you are applying it you can start going in with circular motions Then we're going to go with this orange red. We'll be applying this color to a little bit below that crease. The key to this is blending it nicely, slowly. After that, we'll be going in with a deeper color. This one, we can start applying it to the lid. You're going to pat it. Pat it all around and then just blend it lightly up towards the other colors. After this, we're going to go in with the even darker color, which is going to be chocolate brown. I'm going to call it chocolate brown because it's dark and brown. <laughs> Unless I call it shit brown. That don't sound pretty. Again, we're going to apply it to the eyelid. And we're going to blend it lightly. We're going to pat it on. Pat it on the lid. Just 
Smoky eyes are my favorite. My favorite to do and favorite to actually practice. We're gonna pat that color in. We're gonna start blending it. Now, if you see that, it's kind of patchy. You can always go back in and add some more. Pat it. Pat it. Pat it. And then we're gonna blend it. Very lightly. Very lightly. Like so. Go back with my fluffy blending brush. And I blend the top. So it doesn't look so harsh. Later on I will add my highlighting. After I do my eyelash. Uh, my eyebrows. Maybelline New York. 24 hour foundation with one time of applying the stuff it's like magic they do the whole full coverage still even though it doesn't make you feel like you're wearing a mask so now I'm just gonna pat on my foundation pat 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 and see how instantly it's giving me that coverage already? Just like that. True Matte Concealer. I use these for my highlight and contouring. And this is fair light and this is medium deep. I like to use this because they're so easy to work with. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you guys on this video. The key to makeup is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Like, I practice all the time. All the time. When I go, before I go to work, I do my makeup. I make sure that I do my makeup because that's practice. After this, I'm going to use my Revolution Luxury Baking Powder on my little cap. Then I'll get my big buffy brush. And I move out of the freaking way because this stuff makes a mess. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. And I'll just, I just pat it on as well. When you're doing makeup, it's a lot about patting. Later on, I'll go a little bit like that and blend it in. But for right now, you pat. You pat because you're setting it. You're setting your foundation. That butter always... Today I'll be using... Luminazo by 
Milani. It's a big powder. I really like the stuff. It reminds me of the MAC. This one you pat and then you go like that. I went in all hard. Like I said, I have a heavy hand. Pat where you want it and then you're gonna blend. This kind of works as a highlighter, a bronzer, a, what else? Highlight and a blush, all in one basically. Here. This little itty bitty brush held um, Mega Glow. And this one really, oh, it's called Blossom Glow. I was gonna say I don't, I don't have a name for it, but there it is. Little extra highlight won't bother anyone, right? All right. So this is called the People are calling it the angel wing and the diamond ring, wing, ring. It's supposed to be good for people that have hooded eyes. If you can see their eyeliner more I'm so nervous you guys it's like not coming out the way it's supposed to come out <gasps> oh my god I really don't understand why it's not coming out Anyways, I was calling this a bat, a back, a back, a bat wing. I don't understand why it's not coming out, you guys. I really don't. Anyways. Ugh. Let's try this eye. Practice makes perfect, guys. This one came out better this one oh my god but I'm not gonna do the whole bad thing no more I quit for today I quit trying to be a bad girl Today we're just gonna stick to my old regular eye eye makeup. <laughs> Anyways guys, I tried.
pencil brush by Essence, and it's in brown. And my little pencil Benefit Browsings, and this is in the number three. I think my eyebrow, I, I think my eyeshadow came out pretty good. Besides the whole stupid eyeliner. Ugh. Oh well. Let's not forget our highlighter. I'm gonna be going with this light one. <laughs> Wild gel lip liner. It is in let me see bear to comment and then i'm going to be using milani um matte blissful it's a very pretty pink my lips are a little bit dry so It might not go with this look. I wanted a little like light brown one, but I don't have one, so this will have to do. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, remember, orange and smoky brown and some glitter anyways please give me thumbs up subscribe and comment thank you for watching my loves